So everybody is right. So I'm going to be calling this alternative school vlog. Um, I'm not sure how old I was when I got diagnosed with schizophrenia. I want to say I was probably... In my 20s. But I got diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder as a teenager. And I couldn't function in a normal regular school setting. So they sent me to my first alternative school. which was the first school at Glendon in Maryland. First, it was on Shepherd Pratt grounds. Of Maryland Shepherd Pratt. I was bad when I was in school. I misbehaved and my first best friend was a boy named Victor. He was a pyromaniac who would light things on fire. And sometimes I would light things on fire because he got me into pyromania, but I don't do that anymore. So Victor became my best friend, but Victor replaced me with Carl, who calls himself James Crona now, but goes by Jay. I don't talk to Victor anymore. And Victor's girlfriend won't accept my friend request. When I was in school, I was bad. They had a resource room and an alternative room with three smaller rooms in it. Sometimes they would take your shoes away or your shoelaces and they would lock you behind the door if you misbehave too much. In the resource room, sometimes you could go there and do your work. Sometimes I would sit in resource and do my work in the resource room. But I always misbehaved. But when I went to the Aero Center for Education in Maryland, that's when my behavior issues got worse because I missed my former school friends. In the Aero School, I would kick desks over and I misbehaved very badly. But I made friends in the small classroom that I was in that only had six or seven people. There was a man in my classroom who was an aide who I found out ended up molesting a student, a middle school student.
But when I was in the Ferber School at Glendon, it was the funnest years of my life because that's where all my friends were. My first girlfriend was a girl named Alicia, and then Brooke, and then Tanya, who I was using to make Alicia jealous, and then Nadia, and then Sabrina. And then at 17, I got with my boyfriend named Billy. However, Billy was much older than me. Billy was probably 30, and I was 17. No, actually, Billy is about nine years older than me, I think. So if I'm 17, that would make him 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So he was 26, almost 30, and I was 17. Um, when I was 14, I went to the Ferber School of Glendon. And that's where I met my friends. I never had sex with any of my girlfriends in school. But my friend Victor had girlfriends and he would have sex. I didn't lose my virginity until after high school with my one girlfriend. So I lost my virginity to her. That was after high school. I wish I could have had sex with girls in high school, but I didn't. My friend Victor would have sex, but I didn't. And so did all of my other friends, and I was jealous of them. But I was still popular in school because Victor was the most popular boy, and he was my best friend. But I didn't get schizophrenia until I was an adult. But in school, I had generalized anxiety disorder. And for the school at Glendon, and for the school on Sherpa Pratt ground, students would kick dust over and misbehave and cuss teachers out. And I misbehaved when I was in school because I adapted to my surroundings. So I misbehaved as well. But I'm sorry for my behavior now, but people do stupid things when they're teenagers and when they're around their friends. I'm gonna go smoke some tobacco and then I'll come back.
So my friends. <coughs> So all my friends were bad in school. <coughs> I was bad. But I regret it. I regret my bad behavior. But I guess when you get generalized anxiety disorder and then you go to a school in the grounds of a mental hospital, you end up becoming bad. So I misbehaved. And I didn't have girlfriends in school. I didn't get with my one girlfriend until after high school. Then I met in my second school, which was the Aero Center for Education. So I went to the Aero Center for Education. That's where my behavior issues were at their worst. I would kick desks over and cuss teachers out. But I regret my behavior now. And I'm sorry for my bad behavior. And I regret it every day. But I couldn't function in a normal regular school setting. So that's why I went to alternative schools. Alternative schools do their best to correct bad students with bad behaviors and students with behavior issues. My behavior was bad when I was at Arrow and Forbush School. So I misbehaved. My behavior was bad. Yeah. My behavior was bad. But I have my new girlfriend now. And I'm looking as my religious belief. And I don't regret my time in alternative schools placement. If your child needs to go to an alternative school, then they do. 
Sometimes students just can't function in normal school settings, which is why I had to go to my alternative school. So I went to my alternative school and I did very well, but I'm not smart. I don't know a whole lot of things as far as education material, but it doesn't matter because I get disability for a living. And I just share things on Facebook and I talk to my friends. So I'm never going to work because I'm disabled with paranoid schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and Tourette syndrome. So it doesn't matter. Alright, well, I guess I'm going to end the show. I'm going to call this alternative school vlog for Bush and Arrow.